New brochures from the federal government offer advice on keeping at-risk groups food safe. The brochures are a joint effort by the Food and Drug Administration and the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service. FSI is committed to ensuring food is safe for everyone, especially for at-risk groups, before it even gets to the grocery store. Until we achieve that goal completely, it's also our responsibility to give consumers additional food safety information. So that's why we've partnered with FDA to get this important information to at-risk persons, their caregivers, and others. Federal officials say that along with producers, it is the government's job to prevent food from being contaminated. That includes advising consumers what they can do to keep them and their families safe. For some, it can be a matter of life and death, such as for kidney transplant recipient Joan Monshine. These immunosuppressive drugs are what prevent rejection. They prevent your system from rejecting your organ, your, your newly transplanted organ. As a result of being on immunosuppressive agents, your susceptibility to infection increases dramatically. Foodborne hazards and foodborne risks are something that are critical for transplant patients to know. Monshine is in one of several at-risk groups for foodborne illness that the new national information campaign is trying to reach. Getting sick from foodborne illness can be life-threatening for those with compromised immune systems, such as the very young, the very old, transplant patients, and others. It's also important that consumers, particularly those who are at higher risk of foodborne illness, have information they can use to do their part in preventing illness through proper selection of foods and proper preparation of foods. You can find out how to get the brochures and other information at foodsafety.gov and the USDA and FDA websites. In Washington, D.C., for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Bob Ellison.